Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back to another server admin tutorial or bucket spigot plugin tutorial. If you're joining for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button because I do these every week. If you have suggestions one you would like me to do, feel free to comment that jibbles below. If you find this video helpful, please leave a like because it helps me out for helping you guys out. And this is new Votifier. Now this is actually pretty simple because, and the reason um, Ich Bin Joe, which I believe is I Am Joe, made this uh, plugin is because Votifier has been not really getting updated very much and he has some other methods for sending votes in addition to in, built into this is you can run this on a bungee cord as well and use it as a vote repeater instead of using vote send or be Votifier you can just use new Votifier put it on your bungee cord there'll be a link in the jibbles for an example bungee cord config and then you can kind of figure it out from there on how to set it all up he does a great job with setting up directions on how to use this there's not much else to do in the server itself so we're going to jump over the config and take a look okay so we are running 112.2 and we're going to jump into the plugins folder and we have the votifier folder that is created because we run new votifier so it's pretty much the same thing if you are running votifier and you just switch them out so you remove your votifier jar and you put your new votifier jar it should just figure it all out and it works in place so we're going to take a look at the config but this rsa folder is you have the public key and private key now you're going to need that public key for most minecraft voting uh, sites but uh, i'll show you a little bit of a new method that he has and we're going to jump into the config okay so pretty self-explanatory if you don't have notepad plus plus you really should get it because it shows you all of this comment stuff anything is green is commented out and will not show up host 0.0, .0 if you're running on a hosted environment that probably is the ip address of your server that's just so that nothing gets all mixed up um, otherwise 0.0.0, .0 just means it's going to listen on all ports on everything on the computer so if you're on a hosted make sure that 0.0, .0 or uh, the ip address of your minecraft server now if you're on a hosted environment i suggest you change from the default port this can be anything you want and then you just put in that port when you're registering on the minecraft voting websites and then uh, it should work out if you're on a hosted environment and you're votes are not coming through it's likely because that port is already in use by another server on the same you know the same uh minecraft server on the physical box that your computer is at in the server room now i have this on debug is true that's just so i could show you guys what's going on and verify that it is working i don't know why he puts it in here but i would suggest leaving it false because a lot of the old websites still use the version one protocol which is using that public dot key method so be sure to do that here is the tokens now this is the new method now if you're running a bungee cord you're probably going to want to use the tokens to just secure it, it it makes it a little more secure to know where your votes are coming from and then pretty much leave all of this now if you are running a bungee cord if you're running this on a bungee cord config you're probably going to go in here and then you're going to do proxy and then um the server name hub uh oops hub and then the ip address and port and then the token so if it has a custom token um, as set up in there then that's where that would be so like i said check out the bungee cord config for a little more details on that so let's take a look at an example vote here we go here is your votifier host name this is the ip address of your server and then the port now keep in mind if you change that port be sure to get that done and then your votifier public key now like i said this is the first version this is the old version of votifier we're going to go ahead and do a test vote this is craftservers.net slash tools slash votifier test you can always test your votifier to make sure it's up and running before you start opening it up to all of your users so you're going to see in that console you're going to see a test vote come in there you can see that this is what's going to show up when you run that test it's going to be a test protocol from whatever oh here we go then they all just caught up awesome there we go so now you can see that is a test um vote okay so this is of course only the first step for getting the prizes and rewards for voting to your users this is the listening for votes part of it then you need a listener in order to give those gifts the one that i always suggest it is premium but it is fantastic is to give anything listener it allows you to give 
anything you want. It ties into any other plugin that you want. You can give tokens, you can give enchantments, you can give diamonds, and then you can even give like reoccurring rewards. So if they give five times, they get a different reward, if they, or vote if they give vote 10 times, and then you can have like weekly and um, reoccurring. It's really pretty slick. So I would highly recommend Give Anything Listener, give that a shot. Hopefully this helps you guys get up and running on a new type of Votifier that's out and being updated. It is, it's really cool, I think. It's very simple, a lot easier than Votifier. So this is Cosmo Mining, guys. All enjoy the game. God bless. Uh -oh.